Uh, this is a VGC team, technically. Could be an in-game team. That's a level 45 ditto. Hopefully they don't bring it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't bring it. Um, but also it could it could it could reverse sweep me, technically. Uh Defiant Phalanx is a possibility. I think it's in my best interest just to do this. Yeah, that feels good. Is the easiest EV training the go route? You can't actually get EVs from uh, from go battles for some reason. They just decide not to. All right. Look, we got matching trainer cards. <laughs> Oh, Shiny Phalanx, that's pretty cool. I really like this lead. This lead is absurd. <laughs> this lead goes crazy. Wait, I think I can win turn one. I can probably actually win turn one. Hold on, check this out. Uh, in case there's Sucker Punch, I need to do this to avoid getting KO'd. And let's just Rage Powder away like, I don't know, first impression? In case they have it. Or maybe if they're like Scarf. Actually, no, I outspeed Scarf Mons. Dude, this Pokemon's busted. The more I think about it, it's a little busted. Neither of these things have good special defense. They should just both drop. Yep, yeah, no, they're gone. Okay. Wait, I think this might be my favorite song in the game. Hold on. Does anyone else like this? I kind of like this. Do you think Watchroll could be worth using? Uh, Kill a Watchroll would be. Probably not Watchroll. I'm pretty sure that's what you meant, though. Alright, there's the Salamence. Um, what are the odds? I should still Rage Powder. I should still Rage Powder Dazzling Gleam, I think. Uh, or actually, maybe I Shadow Ball Ceruluge in Rage Powder. It's probably safer. Ceruluge. Ceruledge. Because even if I don't pick up the KO... Oh, I protect it. I'm an idiot. I meant to Rage Powder. I completely misclicked there. Uh, we'll be fine. I have Dondozo. And I KO Ceruledge. Yeah, it's a 1v... It's a 1v4. I'm really digging the Salamence's stance. Wait, hold on. They changed his model quite a bit. That That's a powerful stance. Okay, check this out. Take bets. Do I live? I forgot I'm faster. I do live. All right. Uh, and I eat my citrus berry. Let's just go into Tatsu for the fun of it. Yeah, the new Salamence idle stance is really powerful. That's kind of cool. Like the little the little bend in his stance, the way he's like, hey, hey. It's kind of got like a sassy hip. I'm into it. This is cool. By the way, uh, someone mentioned to me that you can get uh, the Titan Tatsugiri. I'm going to go get it eventually. I'll probably keep using the one I have trained for now, but Titan Tatsugiri seems powerful. All right. Who in chat wanted a battle? No, this is a uh, Cap, Cap, Capo, Capo, what's the name of this? Cas Caspiera? I forget the name of it, but it's it's the character's secret name. All right, theme two. Let's do the Elite Four theme. Ooh, wait. That's two prankster. That's definitely Hayes Murkrow. I'm just gonna put that out there. That's Hayes Murkrow. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. Um. I quite like Arcanine on lead. I think Arcanine's goaded with the sauce. Uh, probably do like Arcanine. In this. Yeah. Arcanine is goaded with the sauce in this matchup. I might have to face some Grafai cheese. Like, for all I know, it's going to be like doodle stuff, but 
Luckily, Grafii isn't as near isn't nearly as annoying as Grim Snarl. Okay. Hmm. It's pretty terrifying. Luckily, I know I'm faster than their Fluttermane. With my Fluttermane, because they didn't activate their ability. Or, yeah, they don't have booster energy. They might be like Life Orb or Scarf. Terrasalizing. Uh, Terror Ghost? Terra Normal, okay. Uh, I can live with that. They use Shadow Ball. Let's get that special attack drop. And a Reflect, okay. Let's go for the Snarl. Um, I'm actually gonna Mystical Fire here because it should allow me to live the hit as long as I don't redirect. I think they're gonna wanna go for Light Screen. Oh, okay. Basically, I wanna wear down this Indeedee. That's like my main priority. All right, Light Screen. All right, don't miss the Indeedee. This damage is pretty big. Light screen, I assume. Psy shock, okay. Uh, it shouldn't do that much. Yeah, it just bounces off. Nice. Let's do another snarl. Do another gaming. Um, and I'm gonna protect here. Yep, there's the follow me. Nice. It's going to get it down to minus two now, which is really useful. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I think I just keep snarling. Like, there's no reason not to snarl spam. Altera. Altera. Um, they don't have a way of beating me with Shadow Ball now, because it's no longer super effective. And also my neutral damage is too strong. Murkrow? That's what I wanted. I really wanted that. I should always I should always KO the Murkrow here, as long as I get off um, my Snarl, because it's probably Sash. Also, Flying Murkrow is very powerful. I didn't know it had that in this game. Like, the, the animation, it's always on the ground in every other game. I just have to connect Snarl and I'm good. No, it's not Sash. All right, that's heat. That's heat for me. Get rid of the Ndidi. Okay, I'm feeling really good about my odds here. I'm feeling really good about my odds. I love that they do like war cries. <laughs> They just, every time you play the game, they just have a synchronized war cry. It's a victory screech. Sandy shocks. Okay, yeah. I think we're kind of gaming here. Oh, you have the booster energy. What is it? Don't be speed. Special attack. Scary. I don't like that. Let's go for snarl here. And I actually would like a mystical fire. I might be able to get my Arcanine to live a hit if I land the Mystical Fire here. Oh, very good. Protect. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do the same thing, really. I don't know what that accomplished, besides, like, scouting. Maybe they were trying to scout a Protect? 
and like get me to not be able to protect next turn. Also, there was like a rumor that double protect is out of the game. Has anyone been able to double protect so far? There was a rumor about that. I don't know if that's confirmed. Also, light screen's almost gone. Oh, I could totally protect this turn if I wasn't concerned for the safety of my Arcanine. I could totally do that. But I think my play is just going to be... Maybe I just Flare Blitz. Mystical Fire. Yeah, I think I do that. Alright. That's not berry range, unfortunately. Nice. Okay, that Mystical Fire was heat. This will knock me into range of my berry. So I'm going to take some recoil. Oh wait, I'm not berry. I'm freaking... <laughs> I'm freaking safety goggles. I don't know why. I forgot I wasn't berry. I'm so used to being berry. Very good at this game. Degleam will do it now. I'm fine. And also, I've been playing like this thing steel type. It's electric ground. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. All right. Which means it's 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 within range of um, whatever it's called. It's within range of extreme speed. Or I'm within range of that. That is also a thing. Um, I should be faster than Sandy Shocks, so I can just spam Earthquake. The only thing I'm slower than is going to be this, um, this guy. Fluttermane lost some HP. Yeah. I should be good to win. Because Sandy Shocks is like 102. I outspeed base 121s. Get in there. Uh, there are multiple backgrounds for this game. This isn't the only one for the person asking in chat. Okay. It's gaming time. Check it. This is why you run Jolly Max Speed. Because I'm going to eat this hit. Yep. And I get the Earthquake off, and that will be game. Nice. Get in my belly. Do your war cry, big cat. Do your war cry. Don Dozo is the best. Y you know what I say? You know what I say? What is it? Uh, <laughs> when I get my Don Dozo, you're done, Bozo. That's what it is. Don't let me get my Don Dozo, or you'll be done, Bozo. So we battled this person yesterday. Let's see if it's a different team. It might be the same team. Could be a best of three, technically. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to this one. This one was a banger of a song. As always, I'd appreciate if you uh, muted this tab, if you're watching the stream and, like, change tabs. Just so you can't hear me. Ooh! This one's interesting. Uh, it is Talonflame, Reverum, Sand, uh, Palo Sand. Ditto. Oh, Ditto could be really scary for me. Ditto could be scary if I don't play my cards right. Um, double Steel is kind of bad for Flutter, man. I definitely think that I always lead off with this guy, though. Maybe it's Scizor time? It might be Scizor time. Oh, actually? No, I know what I do. I'm about to hit him with the Yoinky Sploinky. It's going to be insane. I gotta pull off the Yoinky Splinky. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting comp. Obviously, the Tauros is probably Intimidate. I don't think it actually gets any other abilities. Does this does this version of Tauros get Cheer Force? The Yoinketh Splinketh. 
He took every bit of time. It gets Kudchu. Lame. Bad ability. That is exactly the lead that I wanted. That is the lead that I wanted. Oh yeah, I'm Terra Dragon, I forgot. It's Tatsugiri time. It's Tatsugiri time. There's no shot they both live this, right? No shot. Maybe one of them safety goggles. If the Town Flame safety goggles, I am in trouble. I'll be honest. This thing doesn't have good physical defense. It's only got like decent special defense. Actually, its special defense is like a hundred, I think. But it's like HP it doesn't doesn't really account for everything. You know, it needs a little bit more HP to get the job done. Terra Grass. Oh, that could be bad. Actually, mm, that's probably not that bad. That's probably not that bad, actually. Like, the Rage Powder doesn't work on it, but this thing's a special attacker. So, like, my guy can already eat the hit. Accuracy drop. Please! Let's go! <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna get a defense boost. Uh, but yeah, no, that's kind of cool. Changing into a grass type so you actually resist the hit's kind of nice. It gets Giga Drain? I, oh, it's into Amoongus. Did we find out a new mechanic? Does it not ignore Rage Powder? Or did they attack my Amoongus? I don't know if we found out a new mechanic there. Who knows? No, no Cave Amoongus on this team. I think regular Amoongus is generally better. Oh, it's Earthworm Jim, everyone. Um. Okay, controversial take. Controversial take. I think I stay in. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This will let me resist the grass move. We're doing this. Shadmaster, how you doing? Expected the Dodonzo swap? Why would I do that? That'd be bad. Look at him with his little crown. Alright, so now I resist the grass move. So I can eat this up pretty good. They're going to go for Rock Slide. Oh, please don't flinch. Ah, it flinched. Okay. Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. Um, Let me think how I handle this situation. How do I handle this situation? That kind of sucked. This should be safe. Unless it was uh, AV on that worm, it would have taken a lot of damage. Jim and not the Alaskan bullworm, true. All right, let's get this Intimidate off. Let's get in Dondozo as well. Taj Mahal goes for Protect, that's very sick. Very sick, indeed. I'm gonna eat that up like Reese's Puffs. And I actually wanna, I wanna hit this guy with, uh, with a Snarl. Or maybe I can just, mm. Yeah, Snarl's my play. And we'll get the Amoongus back in. 
Because an Earth Power will still hurt from this guy. Intimidate, that's fine. For such an unorthodox team, they're playing this really well. Nice. That accuracy drop's gonna do wonders for me. Tailwind petered out, nice. Um, now that Tailwind's gone, I may outspeed this guy. Let's do this. I'll be honest, I completely forgot the Tailwind existed. I don't outspeed, but I should live that Earthquake all right. Just because of how bulky I am. Also, oh, I forgot that guy had that ability. All right, I connect the burn. That's really sick. Nice. All right. I think here... Considering my position, I need to hold on to Arc. We'll go down Dozo. And I think I just want to spore you. We got two pretty lame physical attackers in front of us, so we're good. Big cat avoids, nice. Don't flinch. Nice. Alright, uh I can now deal with the uh with the palace sand effectively. I just have to do this. This is my end game. This is what I've been playing for. Dude, Big Cat's gonna have to eat the Terra Tatsugiri. I thought I was... Dude, I thought I was nice. I thought I was gonna hit him... I thought I was gonna resist that grass move and hit him with a Specs Muddy Water with this bad special defense um, worm on the field, but I didn't. Oh, that's even better. That's actually so much better. Because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this initial damage from Order Up, and then I just I hit him with the Ice Fang. Or who knows, maybe Order Up's a two-shot. The worm's taking a dirt nap. Someone ban this guy. <laughs> Someone ban this guy. Alright, eat the Terra. Eat the Terra. <laughs> it definitely was worth it. Alright, order up. This should do a decent chunk. Nice. Okay, that's definitely a range of Ice Fang. I'm also unintimidatable, so it doesn't matter what they do, really. Oh, maybe that's not in range of Ice Fang. Mm. Uh, maybe it is. Actually, I think it is. I think it is. I'm plus three. I'm plus three. Going into Tauros doesn't help him at all either. Nice. Okay. Nice. Jim woke up. Body press? Rock slide. That's fine. I avoid. With Tatsugiri, obviously. I like how, uh, because the game is basically still an alpha and how broken, none of the Pokemon actually close their eyes and they go to sleep. True. Alright, uh, we'll go for order up here. I think it KOs from this range. No, I'll just go for liquidation. Onto Jim. 
I would Earthquake, but it's immune. It gets health. That's actually a really good ability. Wow, that thing's fat. That's gonna bounce off. Told you. Something that's really cool is because Tatsugiri is technically on the field, just completely invulnerable, spread damage moves deal significantly less. Don Dozo seems OP. Nah. This is a skill-based mod. A lot of people play it really bad. Like, people play it so bad to the point where when I try to talk about it on Twitter, <laughs> they're like, oh, that mod sucks. People are like, I, I play that mod all the time, it doesn't do anything. Because people tunnel vision into leading off with Don Dozo. Never lead off with Don Dozo. Or at least never lead off with like Don Dozo and Tatsugiri is what I mean. You're you're like pulling the trigger way too early. What you have to do is position yourself in such a way where you remove the, the counters to it. And then you like just sweep. Don Dozo's holding a uh, figgy berry. So when I go down to 25% health or less, uh, I get back 30%, which is very good. Uh, good game, dude. That was a really good game. I had, dude. Tonight we're getting really good games. I really appreciate everyone in chat who's been, uh, who's been uh, willing to play matches with me. Uh, I really appreciate it all. If you guys are watching on YouTube, though, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. By the way, I go live on Twitch at 6 p.m. CST uh, every night this week, but it's gonna be some nights going forward. Like after this week, I'll, I'll probably do it only a few nights a week. But yeah, 6 p.m. CST to 8 p.m. CST. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.